Today we'll be talking about the Speedtreater TX automatic pre-treat machine. Let's pre-treat a shirt. You simply open the drawer, lay the shirt on the platen just as if you're printing, tuck in the excess, and close the drawer. We control the amount of pre-treat by controlling the speed of the nozzle. Right now it's set at 50. That means that it's 50% of the speed. If I'm going to do a sweatshirt, hoodie, something like that, something heavier, I want to slow that nozzle down to lay down more pre-treat. If I want to do, say, a thinner ladies top, a blowout shirt, something like that, I'm going to speed it up so I lay down less pre-treat. The length of the image, the length of the spray, is controlled by these two knobs on top. I can move those and spray anywhere on the shirt, any size on the shirt. Right now we're printing a t-shirt, so we want to set the speed at 50% or 50 here on the dial. To pre-treat the shirt, we push the start button, and it just takes a few seconds to pre-treat it. Have a couple of options now. If I don't need to print this shirt right away, I can put it on a hanger, put it on a rolling rack, and let it dry overnight. Now before I print, what I want to do is hit it with a heat press because I want to lay all the fibers of the shirt down. I'm going to go to my heat press, lay it on the press. I'm going to take a sheet of silicone paper and lay that on top. And the reason I use the silicone paper is so that I don't get a buildup of pretreatment on the back of my heating element. I'm going to press that shirt for 20 to 30 seconds. I'm going to have the heat set at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's the most important thing. I'm going to use heavy pressure. Heavy pressure is going to flatten out that shirt, lay down the fibers of the shirt, and give me a much smoother, crisper area to print on. At the end of the day, I'm going to open this drawer, and I'm going to slide out the base. I'll take a wet cloth and just wipe out the inside. There'll just be a little bit of overspray here. Many machines on the market you'll see have gallon containers catching overspray. That's all waste. That's not reusable pretreatment. Very little overspray, very little waste on this machine. That's the maintenance on the front side. Let's go around to the back side. Maintenance on the Speedtreater TX is simple. Every day, I'll open the back of the machine, take out the drip container, this is all good pre-treat. This is just drip from the nozzle. I can pour this right back into the container and use it again. What I'll do is reach up inside at the end of the night and unscrew with my hand the nozzle. I take the nozzle and the filter and drop it in this container of cleaning solution. I'll leave that there overnight. Every week, I will want to flush the system out. So I'll reach to the end hose and I'll remove that from the container. Press the jog button. That's flushed all the pretreat out of the machine. Nothing's wasted all back into the container. Then what I'll do over the weekends, I'll take both these hoses, I'll put them in a container of distilled water and simple green. Jog button again, it will flush through the entire system. I'll leave that solution in the machine over the weekend. On Monday morning, I reverse the process load myself back up with pre-treat and I'm ready to go. That's the simple maintenance on the Speedtreater TX.